violence in the streets of central Lima, riot police protecting parliament and the presidential palace fired tear gas. Protesters attacked them with rocks. Protesters say police fired rubber bullets. Some of them were wounded. Protesters filled streets and plazas around the country, many of them university students. They say they're fed up with corrupt lawmakers. More than half of the 130 congressmen face criminal investigations, from homicide to fraud to money laundering, among other alleged crimes. But lawmakers accuse former President Martin Vizcarra of corruption and say his so-called moral incapacity means he had to leave office. We cannot allow them to trample us. They've taken the government unconstitutionally, and we can only make them react with our protest. The protesters insist lawmakers perpetrated a coup d'etat. We've witnessed the kidnapping of our democracy. The congressmen have committed treason during one of the worst moments of our history. As the crisis deepened, Human Rights Watch says the rule of law is under threat. The Organization of American States said the Constitutional Tribunal must confirm that the impeachment was legal. Former President Vizcarra cast doubts over the decision echoing protesters. The authorities have a problem with legality and legitimacy. Those backing the interim government continue to defend its legitimacy. It's not a coup. It's not unconstitutional. The impeachment in the strictly constitutional point of view is not mental incapacity, as many argue. It's moral incapacity. It is an absolutely legitimate decision. Next week, the Constitutional Court will clarify what moral incapacity means. But even if it favors Vizcarra, he will not be affected by the resolution because the court's decisions are not retroactive. And while that decision may explain if lawmakers did wrong or not, it may not be enough to quell the anger in the streets of the country. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Peru.